Woods' leader. And good evening, everybody. Welcome to WBOC News at 6. I'm Steve Hammond. We begin tonight in Kent County, where a lawsuit was filed today against the Delaware Department of Elections over vote by mail in the first state. The lawsuit was just filed this morning by two Delaware voters. WBOC's Cassie Simeon spoke with both Democrats and Republicans today about the lawsuit. And Cassie, the two voters say they're concerned that voting by mail could lead to fraud in the upcoming election. That's exactly right, Steve. And they also are concerned because they say that voting by mail is unconstitutional. Now, the state legislature has the right to enact laws based on emergencies to continue the continuity of government, but the lawsuit says it goes beyond that. One Democratic lawmaker we spoke to today called the lawsuit meritless. With Election Day just 76 days away and a six-month pandemic still ongoing, two Delaware voters have filed suit against the state's Department of Elections, accusing vote by mail as unconstitutional. One of the plaintiffs, John Foltz, claiming application for ballots are being sent without confirmation of identity. It has happened in the area I live in, west of Dover, that a friend of mine, hey, John, handed him a application for it the ballot. There wasn't people living in their house. State Election Commissioner Anthony Albans addressed the concerns surrounding vote by mail today, but declined to discuss the lawsuit which he is named in. So if someone has requested a ballot and then they've changed their mind, they can show up at their assigned polling place. The poll workers are trained to contact the county elections office. What they will do is then uh, verify the information and that absentee or vote by mail ballot will be voided and then the voter will be allowed to vote in the polling place. GOP Chairwoman Jane Brady worries about ballots being sent without confirmation of address. One person voting multiple times is a potential. I mean, we've heard from people who got eight ballot applications to their house, and they weren't for them. They, were, they had one. But those applications are simply that, applications. They are not the person's ballot to vote. Democratic State Representative Sean Lynn, who is also a lawyer, called the suit meritless and that if this suit was based in merit, it would have been filed months ago when the law was passed. Frankly, I, I don't I don't believe that this is based on the merits that they're saying, hey, you know, this is unconstitutional because that argument has any merit. It's simply a way for designing persons to try to undermine the election. A court hearing has not been set. And now if you plan on voting by mail this election, there's a couple of things you need to know. You have to fill out an application for that ballot, either the one that is mailed to you or one online. And it asks you for a couple of things, including your name, your birthday, your party affiliation, as well as a signature. And if someone requested one in your name and filled it out and sent it back, they could be prosecuted for a felony. In our Kent County Bureau, Cassie Simeon, WBOC News, Delmarva's News Leader. All right, Cassie, thank you. One other note on all of this. The American Civil Liberties Union of Delaware released the following statement in response to the lawsuit. It reads in part, quote, voters must not be forced to choose between their health and their right to vote. This last minute attempt to deny hundreds of thousands of Delawareans the option to vote by mail is a thinly veiled ploy to confuse and disenfranchise voters. We will not stand for it, end quote. Went on to say that both Republican and Democratic lawmakers in Delaware came together earlier this year to pass that legislation to ensure that every voter could cast a ballot by mail if they choose to.